In order to do what we do, innovation has to be at the forefront. The future of mobile communications is going to be driven by us. And as we become more demanding users of technology, that will then continue to push the limit of what we do in space. Inmarsat has decided to invest in an innovative product in Inmarsat 6. It's a fully software-defined payload. It's flexible, it's dynamic. We can adjust beams where we need to. And that gives us the ultimate flexibility in terms of providing services to our customers. Inmarsat 6 is by far the most complex telecommunication spacecraft ever launched. And therefore, it needs a test campaign of equal complexity to make sure that there is 100% mission success once we are operational. Watching the Inmarsat 6 spacecraft go through its mechanical testing, seeing it being vibrated worse than it would see in launch is heart-stopping, but extremely exciting and extremely rewarding. There's also a very comprehensive electrical test campaign and payload test campaign that the spacecraft goes through in order to ensure that the payload performs at its absolute optimum, that all the payload components not only work, but work together and don't interfere with one another. And then the next few months as we're preparing for launch, this is an even more exciting phase because it's the culmination of everything that we've worked for and to see the spacecraft go up in a launch is going to be incredible. The direction that the space industry is moving is towards more complex. That is, more complex spacecraft and more complex networks of spacecraft. It's really exciting to work on a spacecraft like Enmarsat 6 that is innovative and that is pushing the limits and designed for the future. It's working on projects as thrilling as Inmarsat 6 that makes me really proud to be a space engineer. And I hope that it's these types of projects and types of programs that will encourage future generations of engineers to do the same job.